Welcome to the Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn about sales and purchase order processing in Tally ERP9. The order processing cycle differs from business to business. Sometimes the same organization may follow a different process at different times for different products and parties or a completely different cycle for purchases and sales. For example, you may follow a process of receiving the sales order, delivering the material, raising the invoice and receiving the amount for the invoice. On the other hand, one may simply deliver the invoice with goods and not have the two prior steps. The list goes on and on. Which is why Tally ERP9 is so flexible that it allows you to handle sales and purchase processes the way you want without having to change the way you conduct your business. All right. Let's look at order processing in Tally ERP9. Let's start with sales order processing sales order processing is the process of receiving and managing orders from customers and it involves tracking all the events until an order is fulfilled to enable sales order processing press f11 for features f2 for inventory features set sales order processing to yes press ctrl a to accept the screen press escape to come back to the gateway of tally now you can see that order vouchers are available right below inventory vouchers under the transaction section. Let's say that on the 25th of March, Max Electronics has received an order from High Tech Computer World for delivering 10 Asus 16.6 inch monitors and 10 Dell 17 inch monitors. This needs to be fulfilled in the next three days. To record the sales order, select order vouchers, press enter. Select the customer's ledger. I will select High Tech Computer World. The customer's details are automatically captured from the ledger. Press Ctrl A in this section. The order number will be captured automatically. However, you can change it as per your wish or predefine the order number format. Select the sales ledger. Press Spacebar. And here you get the list of stock items that you have created. I am selecting ASUS 16.6 inch monitor. Mention due on as 3 days. Enter the quantity and the rate. Similarly, I'm selecting Dell 17 inch monitor. Mention the order details. Press enter and accept the screen to complete the sales order voucher. To track the pending sales order, press escape to come back to the gateway of tally. Press D for display, E for statements of inventory, select sales order outstandings, stock group. Here I'm selecting monitors and here you will get the summary of pending orders. Press enter to see the transaction wise order details. Press escape to come back to the gateway of Tally. On the 26th of March, Max Electronics delivered 50% of the materials against the order received from High Tech Computer World. To account this, we will be recording a delivery note, which is also known as a delivery chalan. Press F11 for features, F2 for inventory features, set use tracking numbers as yes, Control A to accept the screen, Press escape to come back to the gateway of tally. Press T for inventory vouchers. Alt F8 for delivery note. Change the date by pressing F2. Select the party ledger. I'm selecting high tech computer world. Select the order number against which the goods are delivered. Here, I'm selecting order number one. Update the dispatch details as required. Press Ctrl A to accept. Now, you can see the details from the sales order is auto-captured in the delivery note. Press enter to move forward. You can select an auto-populated tracking number or you can choose to give a new number. Here, tracking number is a reference that will help you to link the related transactions you may record later. I'm selecting the tracking number as one. Enter the quantity you're delivering. Five. Similarly, I'm specifying the details for Dell 17 inch monitor.
Enter and accept to complete the delivery note voucher. Press escape to come back to the gateway of Tally. To see the details of the goods delivered for which the invoice is yet to be made, press D for display, E for statements of inventory, select sales bill spending. Now let's say that on the 27th of March, High Tech Computer World has returned two Dell 17 inch monitors since those were damaged. For goods which are returned before issuing a sales invoice, you need to record a rejection in voucher. Press escape to come back to the gateway of tally. Press F11 for features, F2 for inventory features, set use rejection inward and outward notes to yes, press Ctrl A to accept the screen and escape to go back to the gateway of tally. Press T for inventory vouchers, Ctrl F6 for rejection in, change the date by pressing F2, select high tech computer world in the party ledger, the customer's name and address will be auto populated. Select Dell 17 inch monitor and the delivery note tracking number against which the rejection is made. I'm selecting the tracking number as one. Mention the quantity that is returned. Enter and accept the voucher. Now let's issue an invoice for the actual goods which are delivered to high tech computer world. Press escape to come back to the gateway of tally. Press V for accounting vouchers. Press F2 to change the date. In the party ledger, select high tech computer world. Select the tracking number as one. Control A to accept the screen. Here you can see the net stock which was delivered to high tech computer world is auto captured. Press enter to go forward. Select the tax ledgers as applicable. Enter and accept the screen to complete the sales invoice. To account the receipt against the sales, press F6. Let's change the date to 29th March. Select the cash or bank ledger in the account field. I'm selecting the bank ledger. Now here is a quick tip for you. For the ease of tracking and settling the bills, enable pre-allocate bills for payments and receipts or general vouchers from F12 configurations. Next, select High Tech Computer World. Select against reference. Select the pending bill. Enter and select end of list to accept the bill wise details screen. Specify the bank details. Enter and accept the receipt voucher. What we learned so far is that an order cycle that starts with sales order, delivery note, rejection in, followed by recording sales and receipt voucher. If you follow a different cycle or process, you can choose to enable and record only those vouchers which suit your needs. It's free of any rigid processes and you can manage it the way you want it. Likewise, you can manage the purchase order process too. To enable, press F11 from the gateway of tally, F2 for inventory features, enable purchase order processing. The steps and navigation to record the purchase order are similar to what we just learned. Here, you will record a purchase order voucher instead of sales order. Likewise, receipt note will replace delivery note, followed by rejection out, purchase voucher and payment. All right, a quick recap of things we learned in this session. Enabling order processing, recording sales order, delivery note and rejection in, issuing sales invoice by tracking delivery note, viewing order and delivery note reports, and using similar navigation to enable and manage purchase order processing. With our latest Tally RP9, you can access order reports from a web browser on any device, anywhere.